Welcome to TCA Taikothon 2015. I'm honored to share with you today my creative initiative called Taiko Peace. After 38 years playing and practicing and promoting San Jose Taiko culture in, in 2011, Roy and I transitioned seamlessly out of leadership to pass it on to the next generation of San Jose Taiko leaders. When people ask me, how's retirement? I respond, not retirement, rewirement. Preparing for San Jose Taiko succession was very humbling. Considering that I had already been doing what I truly love to do, I had to go deep inside myself to ask, what is my next stage? Does my Taiko passion have a place in our world that's going through troubled times and intense change? How can I take my Taiko passion to have a deeper and more meaningful impact? In my 40 plus years of being a Taiko practitioner, I have seen and I have personally experienced how the misuse of power and ego shut down communication and unity in the group. On the plus side, there are more Taiko groups, often created because of bad feelings and unresolved disagreements. Isn't this kind of a microcosm of what's already happening in our world? As Taiko players, we each hold incredible power by merely playing Taiko. We affect ourselves and we affect others in a dynamic way. Besides Taiko being an extraordinary musical art form, it would be profound if we can just all embody that Taiko is also a tool for empowerment and transformation. Taiko can open our hearts, our minds, and release our limiting habits and judgments. We can start to see our own Taiko play come from deep inside of us, from an authentic place that reveals why we play Taiko and how we connect to ourselves and to others. Thus, the creation for Taiko Peace. What is Taiko Peace? Taiko Peace is a creative initiative and grassroots movement dedicated to unleash creativity, spark new connections of co-creativity, and heal the human spirit through the dynamic energy of Taiko drumming. Taiko Peace is inspired by the Charter for Compassion, a document supported by leading thinkers from many traditions around the world that activate the golden rule through the way we speak the way we think and the way we act. Taiko Peace invites heart-centered and gratitude-conscious individuals, Taiko players and non-Taiko players alike, and especially musicians, dancers, writers, and artists of all genres and walks of life. The Taiko Peace Intensive Workshop integrates Taiko drumming with artistic forms such as dancing, chanting, spoken word, Taiko playing, writing, and Japanese Pato movement in order to activate and awaken self-expression in disruptive yet positive ways. Taiko Peace Workshops catalyze our energies to genuinely connect with each other, to ignite our life's passion, and to expand our awareness to shift our world from competition to cooperation, from exploitation to sustainability, from insensitivity and disrespect to compassion. One of the community building tools for Taiko Peace is the dance, Age and Ica. Many of you in the Taiko community are familiar with Age and Ica. It is a piece that I have made as an open source song that incorporates dance, Taiko, and Kakegoe. Age and Ica celebrates our Japanese American history the dance movements commemorate the work through which our Issei made their living. I asked Yoko Fujimoto to compose lyrics for Eiji Naika. Her words are so alive, bringing the past into the present and into our future. The ripple effects of Eiji Naika is expanding throughout our global Taiko community. In summer 2014, through the coordinated efforts of Hannah Jasmine Brunskill of Taiko Journey in the UK, Taiko Peace was invited to Bethlehem for its second annual Bethlehem Live 2014 festival. 
It was here in Bethlehem that Tycho Pisa's true potential came alive. Bethlehem Live Festival was conceived by the Holy Land Trust to inspire a community walled by concrete and barbed wire in a military-occupied area of the West Bank. Our purpose was to bring Tycho and Ajanaika to Bethlehem as a gesture of peace and goodwill in a week-long adventure with workshops targeting groups of Palestinian youth and teenage girls, culminating in a joint performance at Bethlehem Live Festival. When I learned that the mayor of Bethlehem was a woman, I wanted to meet her. She graciously invited me and Sami Awad, the Holy Land Trust director, to her home. As we sat on her veranda, she sadly said, pointing toward the horizon, see all those huge buildings on that hill? 10 years ago, it was only forest and our farmland. Those buildings are Israeli settlements that are growing so fast and robbing us of our land and our freedom of movement. It was so wrenching to hear her words because I went completely unprepared to understand the Israeli and Palestinian conflict. It was a most humbling experience. I replied, Mayor, as I look at this walled off territory, I'm reminded of my own family's internment of Japanese Americans during World War II. What I've experienced this week, working with your young people and seeing the daily life inside Bethlehem. Your people and your culture are beautiful. It is through these young people that have the capacity to take compassion forward. She was moved to see that the young people could dance, age in Laika, and play taiko. And she even heard a young Palestinian girl reciting the Charter for Compassion in Arabic. I now close with how age in Laika ripples can be a part of the continuum to heal and uplift our communities and our world. Oh, 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 oh,